欢迎收听早安新闻。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说、读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。刚才的视频新闻看到多少呢？别忘了，你可以反复观看，甚至可以提前自己听写一下，然后再来听我讲的内容。咱们再来听一遍。本来我打算睡觉了，但是忽然发现他竟然获奖了。That was like um like a thousand surprise birthday parties where all your friends are like jumping out like ah. 本来打算讲个一半，结果发现整段都是一个非常有力量的 acceptance speech。我最喜欢的是文本第九十、十一这三个段落。他在跟自己的下一代年轻的这些艺人们说 ：“I need you to hear me when you when I say that there is no career path that comes free of negativity. There is no career path that comes free of negativity.” 他说：“这个世界上并不存在任何一个 career path， 然后是完全免除了 negativity。”注意听小短语 “free of comes free of negativity”。逐字理解的就是说，这并没有任何一个职业道路是完全免于负能量的状态到来的。就是说，干任何事吧，做任何职业都不可能是事事顺遂的。Comes free of negativity. 他后面说了三个排比句，非常有力量。If you're being met with resistance, 他用现在进行时的被动语态来表示，如果你遇到了任何的阻挠。If you're being met with resistance, that probably means that you're doing something new. 没错，就是当你遇到任何阻力的时候，就意味着你正在前行，你正在做别人没有做过的新事情。You are the trailblazer. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, 如果你正在经历 turbulence 颠簸或者是压力的话。If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising. 我太喜欢这句话了。如果你觉得在经历颠簸或任何压力的话，就意味着你正在爬升，你正在提升。If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising. And there might be times when you put your whole heart and soul into something, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. 这里出现了两个名词，一个叫 cynicism， 一个叫 skepticism。cynicism 有好多的意思，有玩世不恭。愤世嫉俗、犬儒主义，但在这里他表示冷言冷语、冷嘲热讽。这个词并不是我们第一次见到，我们上次正式学习它是在去年二零二零年八月十七号星期的早上。You threw away your flowers. Like I said, they don't last. 你为什么把所有的鲜花都扔了呀 ？Like I said, they don't last. 因为他们会枯萎。Like I said, they don't last. I don't think they're dead yet. I don't like getting attached to things if I know they won't last. 这句话冷酷的有点帅。I don't like getting attached to things if I know they won't last. 如果我知道这个东西，什么东西，他们没法长久，我一般都不喜欢接触这样的东西。<笑>他就在双关语吗？我不想跟你搞。I don't like getting attached to things if I know they won't last. I don't like getting attached to things if I know they won't last. Nico, why are you so cynical? Why are you so cynical? 你为什么这样 cynical？ 为什么这么犬儒呢？为什么这么世故呢 ？Why are you so cynical? Why so cynical? Why so cynical? Michael, I think there's cynicism and then there's realism. And there's optimism. <笑>他俩的这个对话很有意思。女的说，因为这个世界上有个东西叫 cynicism， 就叫玩世不恭、犬儒主义。然后还有个东西叫 realism， 叫真实、现实。男主角不想放弃，然后马上补一个词儿：这个世界上还有乐观主义啊。Why so cynical? Michael, I think there's cynicism and then there's realism. And there's optimism. 这个片段想起来，同学请在评论区发一个玫瑰花的 emoji. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you because we live in a world where anyone has the right to say anything. That they want about you at any time. 除了你可能不太熟悉的 cynicism 之外呢，他还用到了一个曾经我们学过的高级形容词。Making folklore and evermore was one of the most unique, cathartic, cathartic, extraordinary experiences I've ever had. 不知道还有多少同学对这个词还有印象啊？我们上次正式学习它是在《新闻营》第二季的第十一课，讲述的是一个下半身呃无法行走的一个女孩子的一个采访。When I'm running, I completely shut my mind off. 这句话其实咱们复习好多次了吧？他说，当我跑步的时候 ，I completely shut my mind off. Shut my mind off. I'm in a very cathartic state. 出现了。
I'm in a very cathartic state. 我会处于一个 cathartic 的状态 I'm in a very cathartic state. It's like an active meditation. When I'm putting all my energy into it, I feel like I'm on the top of the world. 这个片段有印象的同学，请在评论区发一个松树或者跑步的 emoji. Making folklore and evermore was one of the most unique, cathartic, extraordinary experiences I've ever had. I am so indebted to and grateful to my British fans. I love you so much for everything you've done for me. 这次的 acceptance speech 除了说 grateful 谢这些那之外，还用到了一个形容词叫做 indebted， 核心词叫 debt， 就是 d e b t 就债的意思。前面加上 i n， 前面加上 i n， 强调了这个债的感觉，就是对我觉得欠大家很多的感谢。I am so Indebted to and grateful to my British fans, I love you so much for everything you've done for me. 我觉得刚开始的时候，他说的一句话跟王菲很像。他说：“我要感谢所有的评委会的这些人。” I want to thank the Brits or anyone who decided that I would be worthy of this incredible honor. 这里用到了小短语 be worthy of， 值得。我们上一次在直播课当中见到这个词呢，是好遥远，是在新运营第一届的第十一课。当时讲的是老师去说，本人要去摆那。Enjoy marveling at the park's namesake Torres. 一句话出现两个知识点，一个叫 marvelat， 一个叫做 namesake。都想起来了吗 ？Enjoy marveling at the park's namesake Torres and capturing some Nat Geo worthy photographs. 动词 capturing， 然后出现了一个形容照片，很高级的叫 Nat Geo worthy。还记得啥意思不 ？Capturing some Nat Geo worthy photographs before beginning your trek back to reality. 当时我们重点讲的是 trek。Back to reality. Capturing some Nat Geo worthy photographs before beginning your trek back to reality. 这次的致辞当中，这次的致辞致辞，这次的致辞的致辞致辞，这次的致辞当中，他还说啊，由于发生了那么多大家都知道的事儿哈，所以我就啥也不干呗，成天宅在家里制作我的唱片，一做就做了仨。But we all know what happened next. The world changed, and um. I ended up putting out three albums instead. 咱们来好好复习一下这个有意思的短语，叫 end up。我们最初学习它是在新民营第零届的第五课。You have to be obsessed with the Olympics to want to go. That's what you're working towards your whole life. Nationals is the most important competition of the season. It's the main Olympic qualifying competition. It's the make or break. It's the make or break. 还记得啥意思吧 ？I haven't felt like that in competition in years. It was euphoric in that moment. 当时学习了一个漂亮的精彩小词 euphoric. It was euphoric in that moment. You don't get that a lot in sports. When I finished, I was beaming. 动词 beaming 就像这个视频本身那样光彩夺目 When I finished, I was beaming. The audience is on their feet. I end up that night in fourth place. 出现了，当天晚上我获得了第四的位置。I ended up in fourth place. I end up that night in fourth place. I knew that I would have to be top three at that event to go to the Olympics. Every molecule in my body is. Broken. Ah, 最后一句话，这句话我生活当中也经常用。Every molecule in my body is broken. Every molecule in my body is broken. 第二次在政课当中见到他是在新民营第三届的二十四课。当时咱们讲的是动物森友会这个游戏风靡全球。I ended up playing a lot with my sister. I ended up playing a lot with my sister. 他说的非常快啊！我由于玩这个游戏呢，玩着玩着就跟自己的妹妹关系越来越好了。I ended up playing a lot with my sister, and we ended up bonding a lot. 他又用到了这个句型 We ended up bonding a lot. I ended up playing a lot with my sister, and we ended up bonding a lot. So it was something that we shared as family. 怎么样？脑子当中是不是出现了一个很好的句型结构了？就是 end up 后面直接加动词的 ing 形式。如果加名词的话，加 with 就行。我们在去年二零二零年七月二号星期四的早上，公众号当中讲过了名词的用法。For sure, that it was going to end up with the dog yeah, just coming dog through and knocking through. everything down. Yeah. 他想的跟大家想的一样吗 ？There is going to end up with a dog coming through. 他以为这个片段的结束就应该是这个狗走过来之后把所有东西都 knock down. I thought for sure that it was going to end up with the dog yeah, just coming through and knocking everything down. Yeah. 最后一次在正课当中见到呢，是我们在第八季的第二十四课。
。当时我们拓展了来自《老友记》当中的一个片段。Yeah, it was senior year in college. It was after the Sigma Chi Luau, and Melissa and I got very drunk, and we ended up kissing for several minutes. Which means she had a couple spritzers and a quick peck on the cheek. 三个知识点，第一个叫 spritzers， 第二个名词 peck， 第三个脸蛋 cheek. Which means she had a couple spritzers and a quick peck on the cheek. Which means she had a couple spritzers and a quick peck on the cheek. <laughs> Why are you taking this away from me? <laughs> After all the effort that we have put in to end up with nothing, overplay your hand. I pull the plug. You blow your last chance for a good time with your friends. Word gets out that you're not cool. Then school starts. You end up with your nose in a book all year. What do you end up with? Ah,、oh, today this episode, 好像讲的最多了，但是我很开心。我们复习了四个老朋友，两个高级词汇 cynicism, and it is met with cynicism. Or skepticism. 第二个高级词汇 cathartic. I'm in a very cathartic state. 复习的小形容词 worthy. I want to thank the Brits or anyone who decided that I would be worthy of this incredible honor. 以及第一次正式总结 end up 的用法 I ended up playing a lot with my sister, and we ended up bombing a lot, so it was something that we shared as a family. 我们来复习我们来复习一什么什么东西是我的一切，是我的命。Game of Thrones is my life. Game of Thrones is my life. Game of Thrones is my life. 二，我的灵魂已经离开了肉体，意思就是说开心的上天了。My soul left my body. My soul left my body. My soul left my body. 三，我值得这个不可思议的荣誉。I would be worthy of this incredible honor. I would be worthy of this. Incredible honor. I would be worthy of this incredible honor. 四，我最后呢就发行了三张专辑。I ended up putting out three albums instead. I ended up putting out three albums instead. I ended up putting out three albums instead. 五，我的股票是涨还是跌？ Whether my stock was up or down, whether my stock was up or down, whether my stock was up or down. 六，永远不要觉得理所应当。Never take them for granted. Never take them for granted. Never take them for granted. 七，职业道路上不可能事事顺遂。There is no career path that comes free of negativity. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. 八，如果你遇到了阻挠。If you're being met with resistance, if you're being met with resistance, if you're being met with resistance. 九，如果你感到了颠簸和压力，就说明你正在起飞。If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising. 十，如果你遇到了讥讽与质疑，你不能让他们打败你，你应该让他们成为你的动力。And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. 小偷小偷吗？那得一百遍才行。但是老板说，音频节目的时间太长，会影响完播率。玲玲说的对。但是我还想保证大家的学习效果，所以我希望你能和我一起坚持，至少模仿复读二十三遍这一小节课的好词句。希望你坚持住，让我们互为动力，把这二十三遍的复读模仿读好。小红花词句一。There is no career path that comes free of negativity. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that 
that probably means you're rising. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. 脱口而出二十三遍深蹲练习，预备开始。第一遍。There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Second point. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with Cynicism or skepticism, you cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Third point. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Fourth point. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Fifth point. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Sixth point. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Seventh point. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Eighth point. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Ninth. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Tenth. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Eleventh. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Dishami. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. 一半了，加油！一半了，加油哦！十三。There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Fifth. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that that probably means you're rising, and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Shoot. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. 
If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Usher. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Usher. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Usher. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. There is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道